This lesson is about making good choices about who to engage for the election. And in particular, this is aimed at most white folks because black progressive people generally have very few people in their circle who are undecided or Trump curious. They more likely have people who might not vote. Whereas white people have people who might not vote and they have people who are committed to voting but who are undecided or Trump curious. So one of the realities is the fact that dealing with people who might not vote is just less emotionally taxing. We don't have as much emotion about people who are opting out or who might opt out of voting. It's, it takes more spiritual, emotional work to engage people who might be Trump curious or undecided. There's several reasons for this. We have social media feeds that make that demonize those people. Those are ginned up and added to by Russia, Iran, China, and who knows what. So it's easy for those people to be demonized. And there's also this weird school of thought on the left that these people who are even considering voting for Trump or are undecided, they're just too stupid or too evil to engage. And I just think that uh, we need to consider whether or not that's indulgent. Black people and other people of color have had to deal with white folks with problematic attitudes for hundreds of years. We've had to learn how to engage things like patience, uh, real or well faked compassion, um, and bring them along slowly in order to create change. Now, we all got short lives. We can't do everything. I understand that. However, I think that too many white folks decide dealing with those people is just too difficult. I don't want to deal with that, even if they're in my circle, even if I have have or have had relations based on love with those people, it's just too hard. So I would encourage you to look at, with some discernment, who you want to engage. And don't be too quick to opt out of dealing with people whose political opinions you actually disagree with. Most analysts tell you it's a base election and it's also a persuasion election. Do not shy away from persuasion because it's just too hard. There's been a lot of people over time to create the multicultural democracy such as it is, and you should be a part of that. And certainly you're a part of that by persuading undecided people not clear on voting, but you also are a part of that by engaging people using best practices who are undecided and who might be Trump curious. I would invite you to not be too quick to opt out of dealing with your problematic relatives. And remember, there's some growth in this too. There's some growth for you in engaging people who are difficult in that way. As you're fo focusing on making good choices, don't just make the easy choice. Let's get to work. If you like the content of this video, please press like or subscribe because that helps the algorithm push it out to more people who might want to see it. Anything you do in support, whether it's a like or a subscribe or a share or even a small financial contribution to this self-funded project is helpful in making sure we can continue this important work of spreading compassion for the sake of democracy.